getting me to co connect something. So I just connected that. Um, and so Deborah owns and developed Color Me Art Spa. She's a fine artist, an art coach, and an art enthusiast. She believes art is like the air that we breathe and you must create something every day. And I agree with that because it really helps our brains to grow. Right. Deborah is known for her big, beautiful art and that she is an expert in bringing people together around art, which she provides through many different packages. So I'm very excited to introduce you all to Deborah. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I want to ask you is, what is it about your methods that really empower the artists that work with you? And is there an age range with the people you work with? That's a great question. So no age range. I literally have the little with the bigs and, and every age in between. So that's pretty cool. Um, so right from the beginning, I get people to get back to the basics of coloring. Let me just grab a piece right here. This piece we're looking at right now. <laughs> yeah. So, well, in black and white. So see the black and white, as they just, I get them back to, to coloring in the very beginning. So pencils, Cray Pa, chalk pastel, oil pastel, uh, watercolor crayon, and watercolor pencil. So I let them explore. And I think that freedom of exploration just makes them breathe. So you see how the lines are like open-ended? Mm -hmm. There are some decisions that need to be made. It's not straight coloring. You'll color in a heart here or there. And this, but you need to A, pick your color, and then B, choose where that color goes and then when to start the next color. So, um, so they're not super simple. And I also go right over my design. So right from the beginning, I'll get people to, um, to go right over a piece with color. And if I, it's really funny. So if I get, um, if I have a certain uh, age range of people in my class, and I say, okay, we're going to start to color this. And I go like this, right over the lines. I get this. I'm like, oh. So right from the beginning, I get people to kind of just breathe and even go outside the box, like right there. So mm -hmm. it's a combination of freedom and just being, you know, able to create. I also get them to say, my famous words, everybody all together, is I'm an artist and I am creative. So when they start saying that, because invariably people will walk in uh, on the screen or in a live class and start to say, I'm not, and I'm like, stop. <laughs> That's the first lesson. You've got to stop saying that because if you say I'm not an artist or I'm not creative, that just doesn't spill over into my class. That spills over into your entire life. So you, I'll let you say it with the word yet at the end. I'm not creative yet. You know, I'm not an artist to what I deem an artist yet. And that's another um, question. What is, what is an artist? What's your definition of an artist? So yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of here. I let mm -hmm. people release and then move into it. And, and it, because littles can go with bigs, it's a great family activity everybody's creating and they're looking at each other and right away they're encouraging each other they're saying oh that looks nice oh i like that color oh that was creative and you get that uh positive reinforcement right away mm -hmm. and then when i back i back into this design so i get them creating on top and then i introduce the the famous brush pen so when i do this it's just, let's, let's see how the brush works. So this brush, for instance, I just get them to play, scroll, do figure eights. And that is really releasing too. And then to know that, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years, don't compare yourself, <laughs> you know, like that yoga class and that person yeah. sitting next to you is on their head. <laughs> um, this ink pen has the, uh, has the ink red in it. So it's this continual flow, the ink when you're working with it and you, it's a meditation, you get lost in it. Yeah. You really get lost. And that's the most like aha thing about this pen. So I created that, that box you saw I put together. Mm -hmm. it, it's, 
you know, I, I can, you can come to my class and use my supplies, but when you get a hold of your own goodie box, you'll go back and back and back. And then you've just made it easy for people to, you know, to get. Yeah. And we'll get to the box in a moment. But yeah. what I really liked, what I heard was the idea of the stories we tell ourselves. Oh, I'm not a great artist. I can't blend colors. And giving yourself permission to go across the lines or, you know, go out, literally out of the box and let your imagination go out of the box as well is such a great growth mindset and opportunity for kids to really embrace that idea of it's wrong or I made a mistake. So when I was in the classroom, oftentimes, you know, children would draw pictures on their final copy of their writing and like panic. And I'm like, oh, well, we could just extend the line here and maybe, and then once you open and give people permission to be curious and wonder, it really does allow the freedom for your creativity to flow. So that would be the greatest advice I could give parents is, you know, try and talk your child into, it's okay, let's, what else can we do? What else can we create? You know, what are you wondering? But I know you do a lot of birthday celebrations and packages and you have a great art kit. So would you mind explaining some of those things that some of our parents can experience or at least purchase for their families? Yeah, yeah. So um, I come up with a, about an 18 by 24 piece of um, a drawing about the birthday girl or boy. And I've done 60 year old parties, 70, 40, 50, 10. So it really hits uh, at no number of age. And it's an activity that's in the side of the party, which people can go back to again and again. This one here is a canvas and we use oil paint stick. So it's not trippy paint, it's a paint stick. So everybody, you know, does a little bit and it's this big piece that we create. Um, in the box are 24 necklaces to create. So that's a finished product. So it looks a little bit like this when you get it. And it's that big oh, wow. and it shrinks down to that size. It's the coolest thing in the whole wide world. Yeah. I remember when I was little doing shrinky dinks and I loved them. Couldn't get them flat, but yeah. they were awesome. That's right. That's right. I put little uh, instructions and tips in there. So you see that one's a butterfly. I have unicorns. I have flowers. You know, it's really, it's just the sky's the limit on that. And then they all come with a postcard um and a goodie bag so no nothing's lost because those little pieces can get like disappear like where did my necklace go so it's really it's really great to have something that grandma can do at the party or dad can start to do and it engages people in a in a way that promotes conversation and when you're talking about art invariably people have a story oh my kindergarten teacher and then all of a sudden the, yeah, they heal from it because they say it, people laugh and you get over it. So you got to speak some things out to get yeah. over what you deemed, you know, a problem when you were first or second grade. So it's kind of cool. It's yeah, cool. I hadn't really thought about it, but you're right. When you're sitting there just being creative and relaxed, conversation does pop up because triggers and memories pop up. Yep. And what a great way to, you know, have a party with all generations involved in creating something that maybe they want to gift to the birthday person or right. take home themselves. Right. So that's awesome. But I also know you have this wonderful art kit that I just saw you post on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I would love to know what's in it and how do we get it? <laughs> okay. So it's on my website and I have some, a couple of specific mediums in there. So I have colored pencils because I have in there some shrink plastic and you can only use regular colored pencils on these, okay? Then I have a watercolor crayon and I love watercolor crayons because they're just smooth and easy and they color they cover the surface and you just dip it in water and go or you create with it and then it's finger. All my stuff really people use their fingers and that's getting back to basics and freeing. Um, the other one is an oil pa uh, pastel or crepe, they call them. And that's kind of like a mushy crayon. Again, you can blend it. And then the last one is the chalk pastel. The chalk pastel is like a really nice sidewalk chalk. Um, so that you can really blend and fill in. And then of course the pen brush and a couple of postcards. So right, and, and with that box that they can order off my website, you get a half an hour coaching with me. So you oh, just wow. set up, yeah, you just set up the time and I kind of walk you through all the mediums. That's the coolest thing about the class that I teach with this is because it's very exploration. 
And because my art is words and phrases, you will always have something to create. You will never be blocked like, oh, what should I create? Because I'm going to ask you, what do you need more of right now? Yeah. You need more love? Do you need more peace? Do you need more gratitude? Well, that's going to be your word. And we start to create over these words. And then it, you just release and have fun. It's really about exploration and fun and not perfection. It, down, the, down the road, I mean, some people are good and they'll copy me exactly. But that's not a, I'm not about copying me exactly. I'm about pulling out of you what sings to you. Everybody has a different letter type they like bubble letters or surface or scroll or calligraphy. This is a calligraphy, a Japanese calligraphy pen brush. So it, the sky's the limit on this. It's really fun. Wow, that's great. And I love that it lets everyone tap into what their needs are. What is it they want to feel and experience? And it kind of helps people self-regulate and really put themselves in the moment instead of another task to do just to say it's done. Really just pause from what you're doing. Right. So I know with kids, my experience is a lot of kids will hold up their picture. Do you like this? What do you think of this? And I always try to turn it back on them. What is your attitude on creativity and how do you judge? Do you judge if it's good or not? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my, my take on creativity, I give them a little bit. It, it's usually always, you know, it's great. It's what came out of you, right? So um, I just make them very good. What you said is how did you feel about it? And then um, they just, they, they birth off from there. And I liked before what you said about um, if they weren't quite, they wrote some, they did a picture on their paper and they think they messed up. Um, it's quite a happy mistake. What can we make that big blob of ink because it just made a splot on your paper. And then when they push themselves to think that, oh, I can make it go that way or that way or expand it or put color over it. They're like, oh, how cool is that? You know, I think that was a Bob Ross thing. The happy mistake. <laughs> yeah, there's another book just called The Mistake and it's about um, the art, the author of this book is writing the book and this big ink splat splatters. And then all of a sudden, like the pages are just all about how he extends all of this and it ended up creating a whole different story that was just as adventurous. Okay. So it's another great lesson about accepting mistakes and what good can come out of the mistake, even though obviously that wasn't your intention. You know, accidents happen and sometimes they happen for a reason. Absolutely. Well, this has been super interesting. Um, so I would love for you to tell everyone how they can get a hold of you. And then afterwards, please pop into the comments and add your contact information. Um, but yeah, what event do you have any events coming up? So share what it is you need us to know about. You. Thank you. Thank you. So it's uh, you can go to uh, color me art spa.com. And on the top bar, it'll have all the links to where to go. You can get the art box. You can see the classes. I teach about five different classes. Um, at, I, there's an event this weekend at the Fashion Square Mall. Um, and I had two pieces in an art gallery there called Creative Gateways. So there's a little party at 530. You could come say hello. And um, I'm going to be teaching online. I don't have anything ongoing, but I always can create a class. So if you had a couple of people that want to pop on, and set a time with me. We can always schedule a class uh, on, on Zoom like this and just explore uh, different things. So, oh, and my art is also in Tempe. Oh. So it's at a coffee shop down there and you can go in and hang out. It's the coolest coffee shop. It's called um, Secret Handshake. And they have a, an area with uh, games, uh, board games. They show like a little space for a movie and they, um, um what and they have great coffee <laughs> <laughs> of course right okay well that's great and with you know fall and autumn around the corner and all those wonderful colors and fall breaks are coming yeah. i'm glad you were able to share some opportunities for families not just yeah. the kids to get creative and have fun and test your limits see how far you can go that's right that's right. All right. Well, it's great chatting with you. I hope everyone has a great game night. Um, remember that I will be doing the free connection calls Sundays with Cindy's. Um, it's at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So that way we get our East Coasters in. It's not too late for them. If either on this feed, you can drop the word family in the chat and I will send you the link or just DM me because I would love to connect to, to you again on Sunday. 
So thanks again, Deborah, and I hope you're in touch. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.